Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday's Bible class. I hope you guys really enjoyed your brain break yesterday, a distanza for your month day, right? I hope you guys had a good day, you got to sleep a little bit more, and that you're ready to work this week, okay? Because did you know that next week is your last week in the Premier Parcial? And then you have a whole week off for Semana Mola Sanica. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so whew, I know that. I know you guys love classes, right? You love classes, right? Okay, but I also know that you're going to love a vacation too, right? <laughs> so here we go. Let's get started today. Knowing that we can keep going strong and we can finish this parcial next week with good notas, with good evaluaciones. And we can learn a lot and then enjoy our vacation. Okay, let's pray and get started. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today and thank you for each of these students. I pray that you help them. Help them to learn a lot this week, help them to learn a lot next week, and then help them to have a good vacation the week after that. I pray that you be with each one of us today, that we learn from your word, and that you help us to do our best for you. We love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so what do you need today? Well, you need your homework sheet because you have a new verse, right? You need your Bible journal and you need your Bible, of course, okay? So let's get started. Go get those things. Make sure you have them out. I'll wait for you. And I'll get mine out. Oops, like I'm missing one thing. Oops. Okay, you got your stuff. Here we go. The very first thing we're going to do is our verse, our new verse. But before we can do our new verse, I wanted to study our old verses. Let's see if we're remembering these. Okay, so here we go. Let's study them. Who were the first people? Tell me, Scarlett, who were the first people on the earth? Adam and Eve. So here we go. Genesis 3, same thing. Y llamó, say it with me. Don't make me stand on this video by myself. Okay, here we go. Y llamó Adán el nombre de su mujer Eva, por cuanto ella era madre de todos los vivientes. Okay, let's try it in English. Genesis 3.20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Good. Okay, of what were Adam and Eve made? Oscar? How did God make Adam and Eve? Adam from the dust of the ground, and Eve from Adam's costilla, right? His rib in English. Very, very good. Look what it says in Genesis 2, 7. Entonces Jehová Dios formó al hombre del polvo de la tierra. In English, Genesis 2, 7, and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, right? Okay, here we go. How did God make Adam and Eve different from the animals? Dwayne? He gave man a what? A soul. Look what it said in Genesis 2, 7, the second half. Y sopló en su nariz aliento de vida. Y fue el hombre Un ser viviente. Because he had a what? An alma. Look what it says in Genesis 2 7 in English. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Alma. Okay, here we go. Another one. In what condition did God make Adam and Eve? In his what? In su what? Keanu? Image. Very his good. Imagine. So here we go. Genesis 1 27. Y creó Dios al hombre a su imagen, a imagen de Dios, lo creó. Varón y hembra los creó. I hope you're doing it with me, I know. I hope you're doing it with me. Here we go, Genesis 1, 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Okay. We only have a few more left before we learn the new one today. What did Adam and Eve have to do in order to be able to stay in the Garden of Eden? Sama? 
obey. Exactly. They could not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Here we go. Genesis 2, 17. Más del árbol de la ciencia del bien y del mal no comerás. Good, good, good. Genesis 2, 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Okay, what about, did Adam and Eve obey God's command, Fernanda? Did they obey? No, they didn't obey. So what did it say in Genesis 3, 6? Y tomó de su fruto y comió, y dio también a su marido, el cual comió así como ella. Ay, ay, ay. Genesis 3, 6, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Does that mean it was um, Eve's fault? Eve's culpa that Adam ate the fruit? No, everyone makes a decision to sin on their own, right? And we have to accept the responsibility. Here we go, what was the punishment? What's the word for punishment in Spanish, Ethan? Castigo, good job, buddy. What was the punishment for disobeying God's command? Death. Everything started to die, remember? Genesis 2, 17, 4K. El día que de él comieres, ciertamente morirás. In English, Genesis 2, 17. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay, I have some more questions for those I couldn't call on yet. Okay, but here we go. Let's do our verse. Today we're talking about, did Adam and Eve's disobedience affect them alone? Entonces, en español, la pregunta a ustedes es que la desobediencia de Adam y Eva solo afectar, afectó a ellos o a todos? What do you think the answer is, Jayla? Did it affect just them or did it affect everyone? Everyone. Everyone. Even we have the consequences of Adam and Eve's sin. So but it says, no, as a result of their sin, all men must die. Todos nosotros vamos a recibir el castigo de la muerte por el pecado de Adán y Eva. Ay, no, muerte donde, pues. We all merecer, ya con el pecado en el mundo, ya todos nosotros merecemos ir a donde? Not heaven, right? Al infierno. But, eso significa que cuando vamos a, vamos a morir, vamos a ir al infierno. No. No si aceptamos a Dios, right? Si, si aceptamos a Cristo en nuestro corazón, no necesitamos ir allá. Vamos a ir para, where? Al cielo. Con Dios. But it's who, quien puede tomar esa decisión? You. Solo you can make the decision for your alma. Donde va a ir? Right? Okay, so remember that. Here we go. So what it says, Romans 5, 12. Repeat it after me. Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. One more time. Repeat it after me. Romans 5, 12. Wherefore, as by one man, Sin entered into the world, and death by sin. Say that word with me, guys. Death. You gotta put a tongue between your teeth. Death. Good. Okay, here we go. Romanos 5, 12. I'm gonna do it slow, but don't repeat it because you guys speak Spanish. Do it with me. One, two, three. Romanos 5, 12. Por tanto, como el pecado entró en el mundo por un hombre, y por el pecado la muerte. Okay, everyone go to your Bibles really quick. Go to your Bibles really quick. Go to Romanos 5, 12. Because I want you to see there's a second part to this verse, and you're going to learn that second part next week, okay? Romanos 5, 12. Is anybody going to get me? Anybody going to beat me to it? Because uh, my husband's going slow. I don't know what's wrong with me. Romano is, is stuck right there. Okay. Romano is in the Old Testament. I mean, New Testament, perdón. Mateo, Marcos, Lucas, Juan, Hechos, Romanos. Don't sing the rest of the song. There you go. Romanos. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's read it together. Everyone put your finger on Romanos. Doce. Cinco, doce. Perdón. Por tanto, como el pecado entró en el mundo.
mundo por un hombre y por el pecado de la muerte, así la muerte pasó a todos los hombres, por cuanto todos pecaron. So, because Adam allowed sin to come into the world, right? What happened? Now all of us are born with sin in our naturaleza. And because of that, we all manifest what? Ayer antier, no porque nuestro corazón es sucio. Pero Dios en su amor nos mandó a quien? Nos mandó Jesús a nosotros para morir en la cruz. Si nosotros aceptamos ese amor, ese regalo de Dios, ¿cómo? Pedir a Dios que usted quiere que Dios te salga. Porque Jesús murió en la cruz para tus pecados y usted quiere pedir perdón por ese pecado. Ya puede ser el Hijo de Dios. Right? Porque ahorita no todos aquí en este mundo son hijos de Dios. Porque no podemos ser hijos de Dios hasta que nosotros aceptamos a Dios en nuestro corazón. Y solo podemos hacer eso por pedir a Dios que nos salva. Porque Él mandó su Hijo en la cruz. ¿Hay palabras mágicas para decir magias? No. No. Es que usted va, va a ir a Dios con su corazón. Y sinceramente pedir que Dios te hace un hijo, te convierte en, en un hijo de Él. That's it. It's fácil, guys. God made it easy. Think about it. If you go to your your cumpleaños, esos regalos, are they for you or not for you? They're for you, right? Okay, so do you have to do you have to trabajar for those regalos? No. Do you have to ganar those regalos? No. No. Your your compañeros and your amigos trajeron esos regalos para ti, sí o no? Pues son fáciles entonces para abrir porque son sus regalos, sí o no? Eso es salvación. Eso es de ser un hijo de Dios. Que ese regalo ya está esperándote. Dios ha mandado su hijo al mundo. Para ti. Entonces su regalo está ahí esperándote. God says what? I have a gift for Fernanda, for Salma, for Jayla, for Holly, for Keanu, for Kiara, for Scarlett, for Sapphire, for Oscar, for Andres. For Mario, for Frankie, for Ethan, for Emiliana, for Dueno, for Abiel, for all the, the people in the world. He says, he, aquí está el regalo para ti. Que puede ser mi hijo. Puede ir al cielo conmigo. Puede tener gozo en su corazón porque Jesús está aquí. Tu regalo está aquí, pero what? ¿Qué necesitamos hacer? Recibirlo. Si en tu cumpleaños usted va a dejar todos sus regalos ahí en la mesa y nunca abrirlos, son sus regalos. Ya no. Ya no porque usted lo dejaron. Right? Y si nosotros vamos a morir sin, sin recibir el regalo de salvación de Dios, cuando estamos enfrente de Dios, ¿qué va a decir Dios? ¿Por qué dejaste mi regalo en el mundo? ¿Por qué despreciaste mi regalo? ¿Por qué usted no recibió ese regalo? Y no puede entrar al cielo. Entonces espero que ustedes tomen esa decisión que sí va a recibir el regalo de Dios. Y si están confundidos, que hablen con alguien. Para ser cristiano y ir al cielo con Dios. Y ser hijo de Dios. Qué emoción. Right? Okay? So here we go. That's our verse for today. We're going to practice it again tomorrow. Don't forget to write it in your notebook two times to practice it. Okay? We're going to start to learn the new... You know what I told you I was going to send you letters to a new song? I'm so sorry. I didn't send the letters to the new song, but I'm going to put them up here tomorrow. And we're going to start to learn a new song, which will be so beautiful. It's not super long like the other ones. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get out your Bible journal, guys. Get out your Bible journal. Go to this page that says Analysis 1. Go to this page that says Analysis 1. Okay? This is... The very first question on there is, why is the event of Abraham being being willing to offer Isaac such an important one? Okay, I'm going to stop the video and show you a picture of what page I'm looking for. Because you need, we're going to do this one, this one today, these, and this page today. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to stop the video and show you that. <laughs> 